everything, but he's here to talk to us about this and tell us the truth about artificial sweeteners. And what is the truth? The truth is, uh, Teresa, artificial sweeteners not, on, not only didn't help us to lose weight, but now research is exactly opposite. It's causing a significant health consequences when you're consuming significant amount of artificial sweeteners. One of the major source of artificial sweeteners are diet sodas. Mm -hmm. That's a major source. When you consume too much of uh, these artificial sweeteners, Teresa have an impact in our hormone called insulin. Teresa, human brain connects sweetness with calorie, with energy. So when the person drinks diet pop, body thinks they are consuming sugar. So releases a hormone insulin, insulin releases basically to lower our blood sugar. But they didn't consume the sugar. But you don't have a high blood sugar. Exactly. So you're having a, a bad drop in blood sugar. Beautiful point. What happens, that leads a significant increase in craving more sweet and starchy stuff. So these people actually consume more calorie to compensate for lack of calorie in their diet pop. Okay. So that causes definitely a weight gain. So it tricks gain. your brain into thinking you've had sugar and makes you Absolutely. crave more. Absolutely, crave more. But more bad news, <laughs> when after you eat <laughs> Who that... Who is this guy? <laughs> well, he was trying to lose weight, but diet pop obviously, obviously didn't work. It didn't work. But the whole issue is after a while, Teresa, the body gets confused. So after a while, when you eat, actually read sugar, you have a cookie or candy, blood sugar rises, but body doesn't, body doesn't know how to respond to that. Because so it, it's thinking that that's happened in the past, but you got it hasn't. It. Crying wolf, basically. Okay. That's what it is. And that's why it messes up the entire body's response to the sugar. And interesting, Teresa, now research shows that those people have a diet pop compared to those people who do not drink diet pop. They have a significantly higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes because of impact on insulin response, increased risk of developing heart disease, even stroke. This is interesting that the whole idea was use the diet pop to help our health, uh, but in reality now artificial sweeteners from any source actually having impact our health. So if you're going to cut sugar, you just cut sugar. My best recommendation is really significantly cut down the consumption of artificial sweeteners from any sources. And I prefer if you're going to consume sugar, I prefer real sugar, like fruit. absolutely fruit. That would be a better choice than also thinking, I'm going to drink pop, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to be healthy. So That's not the case. So if someone's really trying to cut down on their soda, and we'll do this quickly because we're running out of time, sure. should they just drink one regular soda a day versus unlimited quantities of diet soda? My best recommendation is minimize both of them. If you're drinking two cans, drop to one can of regular pop. And diet pop, you're three, drop to one to okay. minimize it as much as possible. Great, that help, does help explain it. Thank sure. you for sure. Thank joining you. us today to talk about that. Yeah. If you still have some questions, you can contact Dr. Sayasta at this number. First consultation is free and you can watch this again on our website. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this. <laughs>